हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल कोड फॉर कॉज सो वी ऑल नो दैट सोन द एप्लीकेशन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू अप्लाई टू गूगल समर ऑफ कोड इज गोइंग टू ओपन सो पीपल आर आस्किंग फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन गूगल समर ऑफ कोड वेल देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन गूगल समर ऑफ कोड दैट हैज वन और टू एटलीस्ट वन और टू प्रोजेक्ट्स बेस्ड ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट फॉर श्योर सो इफ यू गो एंड एक्सप्लोर ऑन योर ओन थ्रू द पास पार्टिसिपेटिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो एवरी थर्ड फोर्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मस्ट हैव सम प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन जावा स्क्रिप्ट स्टिल वी आर ट्राइंग टू मैंशन फ्यू organization that use javascript or we can say that they are web based organizations also so starting with our first organization mozilla so mozilla is very much known for its firefox web browser but uh, mozilla has many other uh, projects also maybe some are kind of web extension etc and some projects like firefox voice etc so mozilla is an organization that participate continuously in google summer of code as well as in outreach so if you are someone who is targeting both outreach as well as gsoc so you can uh, contribute to some projects of mozilla and they have a lot of projects and most of their projects are web based projects so if you are someone who is really good at uh, html css javascript you should for sure check out projects in Mo mozilla next is open refine so uh, i have contributed to open refine for so long and i know the project very closely and they used for front end native uh, native javascript so if you are someone who has just started learning javascript and don't know any specific um, framework like uh, angular react etc uh, basic javascript so uh, then on then also you can contribute to open refine opia foundation so opia is an organization that works to create platforms that will help uh, in education for kids and uh, they want to create uh, uh, creative creative ways for education like they want to add uh, 3d modeling etc games in uh, in the platforms that are used for uh, education they are also trying to uh, incul uh, inculcate it, uh, the simulations etc so opia is that kind of or organization so we should definitely try to contribute to these kind of organizations where our ideology matches with that uh, organization open roberta so if you are someone from ec background electrical background and interested in robotics etc so open roberta uh, provides an ide uh, that is used for programming for robotics and uh, um, robotics creation of small bo bots etc and many other games also oh, so open roberta works in that field they also have uh, projects based on uh, you can say vanilla js framenet so framenet is an organization if you have worked with natural language processing nlp nltk etc so you have a understanding of how natural language is passed how projects based on natural language is is created so if you have a uh, basic knowledge of python or have interest in data science and um, some knowledge of javascript so you should contribute you can check out this organization they also create platforms that are used in for the purpose of education etc they have special databases etc uh, that can help in the field of data science like they have databases in which you can store frames scenes so yes uh, you can uh, check out framenet CVCRM. So CVCRM, it is an open source CRM platform, like a platform for managing customer uh, customer relationship management. So they provide functionalities like how you can manage your uh, donations, email, messaging, etc., and uh, other things. Webpack. so if you are a web developer if you are working in the field of web you must have used webpack if you are a node js a developer or something so you must have known about webpack it is a module bundler so now webpack is being uh, extensively used for making things reliable 
more uh, scalable you can make changes easily into the uh, web application without uh, uh, without like uh, engaging with the whole project you can just uh, make changes to specific parts also so oh. next is beagle board so beagle board is uh, also we can say is a platform that supports for uh, education etc so they have projects related to they have uh, projects in which they also include robotics uh, iot etc and uh, creation of uh, creation of like a uh, applications that are used for audio video processing so beagle board comes into picture there next is libre health so libre health is an organization we all know about libre so those who have used linux must have heard about libre so libre health is a uh, you can say a newer project than libre office etc so they work in the field of sciences and medicine biomedical uh, sciences so if you are someone from biotechnology and uh, or even if you are not because it doesn't require a much knowledge of medical sciences they are creating platform so that the healthcare can be uh, made available easily all around the world so their target their uh, that uh, their end goal is that so you can contribute to libre zoplin uh, you must all have used google keep so to list your to do uh, your, your list your work pending works or task you have to complete or a note taking application like if you are in a meeting so how you will need uh, how will you note down mom when in an efficient manner so it provides uh, functionality similar to keep uh, it is open source and uh, Uh, it uh, it is provide it is available for multiple platforms and uh, not only just like to do applications it has many more uh, many more functionalities also so if you are like a react uh, develop uh, react js developer a uh, react native so uh, it is also for the android developers also they have projects based in android so you can check out this organization matrix matrix is an organization that works for uh, communication like messaging platforms so they are trying to make a web based uh, platform for communication where you can choose your uh, your services like through which service your message should should be transferred they are trying to make a more secure reliable platform for com communication kios uh, kios is an open source organization that creates certain projects through which you can uh, measure how reliable how sustainable like uh, how maintained this open source project is so they have like a, uh, a lot of metrics on the basis of which they judge that this particular open source project is how much it is maintainable and uh, if it that is very much maintained this means that that, that is very much reliable also so they check the sustainability also so Kios is a project that assess other uh, open uh, that that is used to assess other open source projects. So that was the last in our list. But I am again saying that for JavaScript you should not need to worry. There are a lot of organizations that has few projects based on JavaScript. If not on plain or native JavaScript, then based on some specific modules like React, Angular, Electron JS, etc. So you you should never worry if you are uh, interested in JavaScript. You will get plenty of organizations in Google Summer of Code. So go and uh, explore on your own. Uh, thank you for watching. <music>